Hey, this is Aaron from Aaron'sGuitarLessons.com, and if you're like me, when you started learning how to sweep, you probably had no idea how to do it, and no idea how to start sweeping, and because uh, it's really hard technique, it's almost like learning the guitar over again. All right, so I'm going to show you a sweep exercise and learn uh, how to get your fingers going to where you can um, start practicing how to really sweep with some of the arpeggios that I have in my videos. All right, so what we're going to do is start with the twelfth fret. I'm going to show you this exercise, I'm going to break it down a lot slower and uh, show you how to play it. Alright, yeah, so that's the basic exercise. I know it's kind of fast and it sounded horrible. Um, and it does sound horrible because it's not a chord, it's not a real arpeggio, it's just a finger exercise on frets. Um, so what we're going to do is start with our first finger on the 4th string, 12th fret. And we're going to start by sweeping down the strings, okay? Alright, now first let me explain what a sweep is. A sweep is when you drop your pick um, or push your pick through the strings or drop your pick from string to string. Um, give you an example of that, it's just let's start on the 4th string with our first finger. You can do the 12th fret harmonics if you want to, or just hold them down with your, with your own hand, whatever you want to do. Let's just practice the sweep itself, though. So we're going to start with the 4th uh, string, and we're just going to push through those strings. We're not going to pick them individually, we're going to push through them, like we're falling from one to another. Okay, and then we're going to pull up um, through the strings, okay? Not picking, but pulling up through the strings. Okay, let's see a close up of that. So we're just starting with this string, and we're just going to push through them. Okay, just pushing through the strings. And then pulling up through the strings. Okay, so uh, a sweep is almost like a, a strum, a, sh a slow strum. Um, so that's the technique we're going to use to play notes with our fingers. So the idea is to play a different note on every string while you're pushing through the strings really, really fast. Okay, so that's why it's so hard. Because you're not just playing a scale and playing a bunch of notes on one string and switch a string. You're actually playing a different note for every single time you switch a string. Okay, and you're going to switch a string for every note that you play. So there's a lot of string switching and a lot of note switching involved. Alright, so let's start with our first finger on the 12th fret. And what we're going to do is work our way down the string. So 4, 3, 2, 1, but we're just going to build like a ladder. So with our first finger, we'll play the 12th fret, 4th string. Then we're going to move down the string and up a fret. So down to the 3rd string, but up to the 13th fret. Okay, and go, keep on going, so on. Down a string, up a fret, then our pinky, down a string, up a fret. So the pattern is one, two, three, four, moving down the strings. Okay, now don't play it like this. As a chord, don't do that. And don't play the strings all at one time and strum um, like you're sweeping. That's still not the, the way to do it. You can do it like this, on, um, and this exercise is really easy because these notes don't make sense and this is not really a real chord that you're playing. But the idea is to pick them individually and play these notes individually so it gets you used to learning how to do the sweep technique, okay? So make sure you do this, te this technique and exercise right. Okay, so you're going to push through the strings. Every time you go to the next string, you're going to change fingers. Okay, and notice every time I change, um, the note changes. So there's no no notes playing together. Just individual notes. And you can just practice that for a while. All that you want to. All right, so from there, we're going to start switching a bit. So the pattern is going to go one, two, three, four with our fingers. And then our first finger is going to go down to the first string. And then we're going to build the ladder going up. But we're going to pull up the strings this time. Okay, so we just we, we swept down or sweep down, however you want to say it. All right, then we're going to start with the first finger again and pull up and build the stair, stair ladder or staircase up. Okay, one, two, three, four. Starting with the first string and moving up a fret each time. 12, 13, 14, 15 with the first, second, third, fourth finger. Okay, so we're making an X really. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
Then we're gonna do the pattern four two four three two one four three two one. Okay, that's where we ended, and we're gonna move our pinky finger, our fourth finger, up one fret, and play four three two one. For the backward staircase. Okay, so four three two one. You should end on the thirteenth fret. Then from there, we're gonna go four three two one again starting on the first string. So we have our first finger on the first string already. We'll put our fourth finger up four positions. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're gonna pull up and go four, three, two, one, up the strings. Okay, so I know that's a long explanation on something that's not too hard. You probably get it faster than I got it. But anyway, so we're gonna start over. Going down, one, two, three, four. Pulling up, one, two, three, four. Move the position up a half step. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one again. Then from here, you just want to do the entire exercise again. So that was the whole exercise. Just move it up again and continue. Okay, so. Okay, so just go as long as you want to. You can start down on the fifth fret or third fret if you want to, but a lot of sweeping's done on higher up on the neck, so that's why I advise you to start. And then you can get faster with it. You know, however fast you want to do it. All right, so that's a sweeping exercise that you can try out. And keep in mind, it's not a chord. It's probably not gonna sound good. Um, when you first start it because you you might you know your pick could be messing up plus the notes you play in aren't going together at all but once you start to get it you start remembering that sound and you'll know that you're doing it right when you do it